Hi, I'm Scott Sewell. Welcome to this series on Azure Synapse Link for Dataverse. You know, the Power Platform continues to grow and add amazing features. So many that it's really impossible to keep up with everything. So when a major feature arrives, maybe without a lot of fanfare, it's easy to miss it. Well, if you work in the Power Platform and you spend time configuring Dataverse or Power Apps uh, for three, Dynamics 365 sales, service, project, etc., you may have noticed a menu item labeled Azure Synapse Link. It allows you to configure a really powerful feature that unlocks amazing uh, opportunities or possibilities. So what is the Azure Synapse Link? And it's simple, Azure Synapse Link creates a copy of the Dataverse data and puts it into the data lake in order to make it available for reporting, analytics, integration, et cetera. This replica of the data is automatically and continuously updated with new records and changed records and deletions from Dataverse. This is a simple illustration that I've used to show the building blocks of Azure Synapse Link for Dataverse and how they work together. Now on the left, there's the Power Platform. And that includes Dynamics 365 for sales, customer service, field service, et cetera, or any Power Apps that are built to store their data inside a, in, inside a Dataverse. Um, in this case, as changes take place inside a Dataverse, those changes are picked up by the Azure Synapse Link for Dataverse. And this replication engine will then send that, those changes down to the Azure Data Lake. And the Data Lake is a, a place inside of Azure that's set up for storage, and it's optimized for highly secured, high volume, and uh, inexpensive storage, or low cost storage, uh, to be able to store lots and lots of data. Because it's optimized for that, it's not as easy to read from. You can do it, but it takes a little extra effort. However, by putting Azure Synapse on top of it, we virtualize a SQL Server, and it makes it easy to query. So you can just write a simple select statement against it and then present those results out to an application like Power BI. Now, by the way, in this series, I'm going to use Power BI as the destination example, but in no way is this limited to Power BI. You can use other tools to read from this data, I'm just happening to use Power BI as my example. As Power BI and Dataverse instances grow larger and larger with more and more business data, the opportunities to take advantage of that data and drive business intelligence from it also grows. While Power BI could easily connect directly to Dataverse for tens of thousands of records, as those data set sizes grow into the hundreds of thousands or even millions of records, Organizations will find success with the highly scalable solutions built in this Azure Data Lake and Synapse with the Azure Synapse link from Dataverse. In upcoming videos, we'll cover how to get started and what our options are within Synapse Data Link. Uh, we'll talk about how to configure those options. We'll look at how to query this data for a Power BI report and how to make it incredibly easy for your end users to take advantage of this powerful resource. This will be a fun project to follow along with. I want you to be as excited about this as I am. I can't wait to hear from you. Leave a comment below as to how you're experiencing the power and flexibility of Azure Synapse Link for Dataverse or what you'd like to grow it into.